Hi, welcome to another video. So, I found something new that caught my interest, and this one is called Git Butler. Git Butler has been around for a while and is supposed to be a graphical interface for all your Git tasks, like checking for unstaged changes, staging files easily, pushing to branches, and a bunch more stuff like branches, work trees, and everything. However, in their recent release, they added something called Agents, which is basically now a super useful feature if you use Claude Code or even GLM or some other model alongside Claude Code as well. Basically, what it does is bring Claude Code into a clean graphical interface with the main focus being on making Claude Code work on multiple features simultaneously using Git work trees or branches but in a way that makes setup less tedious and keeps everything graphical. And I think it nails it. It is also open source, which is always great. Let's jump into it and let me show you how it actually works. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Micro SaaS Fast. Dreaming of launching a Micro SaaS or AI side project, but wasting weeks setting up auth, payments, and SEO? Check out Micro SaaS Fast, a Next.js boilerplate with Clerk, Stripe, Resend, PostgreSQL, and AI instructions that cut hallucinations by 90% for vibe coding. Easy backend integration with Python, Node, and Go. It is built and used by a CTO who helped 50 plus founders to launch SaaS in the past year. You can save 50 plus hours and actually ship faster. Check now. Link is in the description. Now back to the video. So first, you'll have to install it by downloading it and then setting it up. It will then ask you to open a git initialized project. Just open one up and this is what it looks like. You can see this looks quite similar to GitHub desktop as well, but a lot simpler and honestly cooler looking. Here, you can see unstaged changes, check the diff, create comments, and commit all your changes. Everything right there. You can also see the branches option here if you want a graphical view of branches, work trees, and changes committed in each branch or each commit. It's pretty awesome. Then there's the operations history, where you can roll back if something gets messed up. I won't go too deep into these features. So instead, let's head over to the Codigan tab, which is the main new feature here. Here, you will notice multiple panels. Let me explain how they work. Each session here represents a new branch of your project, and you can assign Claude to work on that branch. You can create as many sessions as you like and have it work on different things simultaneously. The second panel is where you'll see Claude code at work. This is basically a graphical version of Claude code. So you get all of its capabilities, but in a graphical interface. You can write prompts here, and I believe you can attach images here as well. You also see the template option. Template options are pre-made prompts saved by editing the Git Butler config file, adding your prompts there, and then referencing them easily here. Very useful for lots of scenarios. Out of the box, you get templates for bug fix, code review, refactor, and add tests. You can also adjust the thinking mode between different settings like Ultra, Max, and so on. Models can also be switched, for example, between Sonnet 1 million, Sonnet, and Opus. So that's definitely cool. On the right side, you'll see the list of changed files and line numbers when edits are made by Claude Code. So let's give it a try and ask for some changes. I'm going to simply ask it to implement a light theme option. This isn't about capability, since it just uses Claude code, but I just want to show you how it works. Once I send the prompt, you'll see it go ahead and start working on it. Also, you can enable auto-approve commands via the config option in the left panel. There, you can set everything up. For example, you can change the path to Claude code if installed somewhere else. You can also enable notifications for when Claude code finishes or needs permission. 
it will then push a notification automatically. The Auto Commit After Completion option is enabled by default, meaning once Claude code is done, a commit is made right away. This keeps everything inside Git workflow and avoids manual effort. You can also allow Auto Approve and change the default model for Claude. It will then use the config file, letting you integrate GLM code or any other model that you configure. For Auto Approve, I wish there was a simple toggle button, but currently it's not available. You'll have to go into Settings and enable it each time. Also, if you set up GLM code with Claude code, it uses that. I have been using it myself, and I'd recommend it. As the process continues, you'll get approve and reject options similar to Claude code. But one limitation is that you don't get the approve all style command here, which is a bit of a bummer. While files are being edited, you'll see a preview of changes on the right side, which files were changed, number of lines, diffs, and all details. That is genuinely awesome in my opinion. At the top, you also get options to clear context or directly open this branch and workspace in VS Code. This is really convenient. One limitation I noticed is that you can't create multiple sessions inside one branch. I would have liked that because if I'm working on separate features that don't depend on each other, I'd rather keep them in one branch with different sessions instead of creating a new branch every time. You'll also see the final costs and commits made within the session summarized in one view. This gives you a clear glance at what's happening. Once it's done, you can hit the Go to Workspace option, and it takes you to the Workspace tab. There, you see the commits it made, files changed, and commit message. From here, you can hit push to send everything to GitHub or wherever. You can also check if a commit was made and even roll back or modify it. This is really handy. And that's basically the gist of it. If this eventually gets Codex or Gemini CLI support, I'll be super happy for sure. But for now, it's already awesome. This feels like a professional version of tools like Conductor, but much more useful for me since most of my work involves Git repos. So this is truly handy. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.